In today's video, I'm excited to be unboxing new shirts from bespoke shirt maker, Will Whiting. I'm Kirby Allison, and I love helping the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes. Join me as we explore the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. It's unboxing day here at Kirby Allison. It's one of my favorite days. Doesn't come very often, but whenever it does, boy, am I excited. And today I've got a really special treat in store. It's the final three shirts of my order of four from bespoke shirt maker, Will Whiting. Now everyone I'm sure remembers the videos that we filmed with Will Whiting, going through that fitting process, the trials, and I think that Will Whiting, without question, is probably one of the most talented young bespoke shirt makers in England right now, doing absolutely incredible work. The first shirt that Will delivered was a beautiful baby blue Irish linen, a button down shirt, and it absolutely blew me away. I mean, I've been having bespoke a Charvet shirts made for a long time, and so my expectations are already high whenever it comes to my shirts. And I knew that Will Whiting has an incredible reputation for being very talented. And so with him, I already had high expectations, but I can honestly say that whenever I received my first shirt and saw not only the fit, the beautiful roll of the button down collar, but the construction that I was absolutely blown away. So I'm excited to see these last three shirts. And so without further ado, let's open them up. So here we go. So you always wanna be careful when opening uh, anything that has a garment inside because you can uh, become overzealous with the blade. And I have ruined a Charvet shirt before by cutting into the box with a little too much zeal. So you absolutely wanna be careful. All right. So here we are. I think these are absolutely right in time for the season, at least two of them. So look at that beautiful, this is a cashmere linen. So there we go. Uh, some beautiful shirts. And again, with Will, I decided to go for a totally different look than the shirts that I have Charvet make for me. I mean, Charvet does my white uh, cotton dress shirts, you know, with my spread collar. Uh, and I decided that if I was gonna really uh, add an additional bespoke shirt maker uh, to my mix, that I really wanted that person to make something different than what I was already having made from other people. And Will, being as uh, talented as he is, does an absolutely beautiful uh, button down collar. Now all of his work is exceptional, but this is where I thought Will would best fit in my wardrobe. So uh, I've got four shirts here, well three uh, plus the fourth he already made for me. Uh, he did the one first uh, as a final kind of trial shirt just to make sure that everything was perfect. There was one change we made uh, that was incorporated into these three shirts, but otherwise everything was really spot on. Okay, so let's pull these shirts out of the plastic. Man, that is soft. So I'm gonna throw this away. This gray is gonna go great in the winter time. So these are both flannels, and then one final linen shirt. Absolutely love linen. Uh, it is easily one of my favorite materials, and um, so I mean I love a beautiful kind of casual linen shirt. Now, there's a lot of interesting things about these shirts that I really look forward to explaining here. So let's get these all undone. So first, these are two cotton flannels from Cancalini. It's an Italian mill. Uh, this is a plaid, this is a solid. Uh, it has a really soft hand. I mean, it almost feels like it has cashmere in here, uh, but it doesn't. Uh, and this is a beautiful just manifestation of a casual shirt. As you, as you can see, it's got the button down collar, which again, you know, allows this to be worn without a tie, but the collar is still gonna stand up, it's gonna be controlled, it has a beautiful roll to it, uh, and is really, uh, really perfect for just more casual wear. And so as you can see, these softer fabrics, you know, the, the plaid, uh, and then this solid kind of gray, are really perfect, just kind of casual fabrics. And then the next category of, uh, again, casual shirts and shirting uh, is linen. Uh, linen is one of my favorite materials. Uh, it's hard wearing, it has a real dry hand, uh, it breathes, it has a beautiful texture and wrinkle to it uh, once you're wearing it. I just love the natural look of linen. Uh, and so again, great shirt for a button down collar. So let's go through these shirts and talk about them. Now the two things you'll notice is that these two shirts are a plaid. Uh, and this is a solid, and then the first one that Will did for me was a beautiful baby blue uh, solid linen. The one thing that's really special about plaids 
especially whenever it comes to Will Whiting's absolutely fanatical attention to detail, is the amount of extra time it takes for him to make a plaid shirt than a solid shirt. And it's all in the incredible work that goes into the pattern matching. Will says it actually takes him one and a half uh, times more time to make a plaid shirt than it does a solid shirt because of the work that just goes in to aligning the patterns and making sure that everything is perfect. And so you can see it here, you know, on the two front panels, the perfect pattern alignment that comes in here. You see it also here where the sleeve hits the yoke. So this is the yoke of the shirt right here. This is the sleeve. And just again, look at how that pattern, you know, perfectly matches. I mean, that amount of work uh, isn't to be uh, understated in terms of how much time it takes. Now that continues to the back of the shirt. I mean, again, look at the solid panel um, right here on the back. Look how this matches the back yoke, right? So again, the pattern matching is incredible. We see it even here on the back of the sleeves. Uh, and that level of detail just really continues throughout the entire shirt. I mean, these two panels, whenever they come together on the side seam, again, perfect, absolutely incredible pattern matching. The way that the collar, you know, matches the back panel. Again, you know, all this, you know, is totally um, invisible to the eye whenever it's done right. But whenever it's done incorrectly, it's one of those things that just sticks out like a sore thumb. So uh, that's one of the things about a beautiful bespoke shirt is that subtle elegance that's really hard to put your finger on uh, because it's just so nice to the eye. And so again, look at how the collar, you know, you could pop it, right? Perfectly matched. This is the collar band. So again, that's a separate pattern piece. And then you put the collar down and again, it perfectly aligns here. So if we move down to the cuff, we again see another interesting kind of technique uh, uh, that Will uses in making his shirts, and that is the way that he gathers the excess throughout the entire uh, barrel of the cuff. So instead of having uh, two or three pleats, uh, like with most shirts, I mean, this is a French cuff shirt, so you really wouldn't see it here, but you can see the pleat actually, kind of right here, how there's a single pleat that contains that excess. Will is actually gathering that across the entire circumference of the cuff itself. Beautiful mother of pearl buttons, uh, sewn on by hand, you know, with the shank, of course, which allows the button to stand up off the uh, fabric. It also makes it easier to button. You know, beautiful hand-sewn monograms. I mean, this is totally by hand. Uh, if you turn it over and look inside, uh, you can see how that is done. So you can see kind of the work here. Beautiful button-down collar, different size buttons here. So there's no button here at the top of the collar, uh, but this is because it is a button-down collar. It's meant to be worn open. Uh, it's not gonna be uh, ever closed here. And so whenever you're wearing this, just the way that it sits up is absolutely beautiful. And once I have a chance to try these on, I'll show them to you. Now let's look at this linen shirt. Now again, I love linen. It's one of my favorite fabrics in the world. And again, you can just see uh, the absolutely superb attention to detail with the pattern matching. Of course, along the front of the shirt, it's absolutely seamless and perfect. You know, you look to the side uh, panels, you know, or this two where they join. Again, perfect pattern matching. We go to the back of the shirt and look from the collar to the collar band to the yoke uh, to this panel right here. I mean, the patterns are uh, absolutely perfectly matched. And again, it's that detail uh, that is in fact quite hard to achieve uh, and just makes a beautiful shirt. So. Um, you know, Will's attention to detail, uh, the way that he approaches fit is really bar none. I've never seen uh, such a technically capable and really a technically enthusiastic bespoke shirt maker. Uh, but also the way that the shirts are constructed, it's done at the highest level. I mean, super beautiful single needle stitching, incredibly high density. I mean, I think this stitch density is even higher than my Charvet shirts. So the sleeves are set in by hand. So there's a single seam kind of where it's sewn together by a machine. But this right here, kind of along the border, is totally done by hand. You can see that kind of right here where you have that beautiful kind of stitching. You know, that detail just allows for a greater precision. Now in these shirts, the buttonholes are sewn by hand. So again, beautifully finished buttonhole. Apparently uh, it takes, you know, 20 to 30 minutes per buttonhole uh, to do this by hand. And it's just one of those embellishments that, you know, doesn't make a huge difference to the shirt at the end of the day, but certainly does affect the degree of finishing and finesse that you see. Again, with this shirt, the monogram's gonna be sewn on by hand. You know, we can really appreciate that on the back. 
Uh, and if you just look at everything about this shirt, I mean, you know, just the small details, you know, kind of right here at the gauntlet. I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful. And, uh, you know, Will does a really exceptional job with his shirt making. So that's the linen one. Uh, we'll try these on after I press them. So we're going to come back and finish this video uh, in uh, about a week or two after I send these to be pressed uh, by Ray Fabricare. Um, but here we are. And then this is the last one. So a beautiful kind of solid gray, a dark gray. This, again, go great with a nice pair of jeans, uh, even a pair of, of cotton chinos. Uh, and again, all these details, you know, kind of beautiful button-down collar. I mean, no pattern matching here, so this is actually uh, a slightly less technical shirt to make than these two right there. Uh, but everything about this is beautiful. I mean, the buttons sewn on by hand, the buttonholes, you know, again, sewn on by hand. Uh, and again, the finishing there is just absolutely superb. So, you know, Will Whiting, uh, incredibly talented uh, and probably uh, one of the most talented bespoke shirt makers, I think, around right now. I mean, he's young, he's got energy, he's enthusiastic. Uh, and just uh, has a real zeal that he approaches his shirt making with. And so if you're someone that really enjoys these finer points of construction, or if you're someone that has a really technical fit that other people have difficult nailing, uh, or if you're just someone that really loves uh, just the nuance and the quality and craftsmanship of a really talented bespoke shirt maker, I couldn't recommend uh, Will Whiting any more enthusiastically. So let's send these shirts off to Ray Fabricare, uh, get them pressed off, and then I'll show them to you uh, here in a bit. Okay, so I've just received my shirts back from being pressed at Ray Fabricare. I know that everyone thinks I'm crazy for mailing my dry cleaning all the way to Arizona, but Ray Fabricare is incredible, easily the best dry cleaners in the nation, and you'll see why whenever we open these uh, shirts. So let's unbox these. I'm gonna be very careful opening these up because I actually have uh, cut a shirt before uh, being a little bit too aggressive opening one of these boxes. So for any of my really nice clothing, I always send it to Rave, even my shirts. I mean, if you're spending several hundred dollars on a shirt, um, you know, the lifetime of any garment can be measured in how many times it's been sent to the dry cleaners. Rave is incredibly gentle and incredibly thorough. So not only do they pr uh, produce a cleaner, neater press, uh, but they do a much better job preserving the integrity of anything you send them in order to prevent premature wear because of dry cleaning. I absolutely love Rave Fabricare. I don't send them everything, but the things that I do send them certainly are important. So here we are. Absolutely love, love unboxing from Rave. So let's see, we've got some tissue paper. And then here we go. So these are the three shirts. Beautifully pressed. So what Rave does in order to ensure that shirts are received uh, unwrinkled uh, is they actually uh, store these shirts in little uh, puff balls, right? So these are little air pillows. Uh, and it's a really clever way to, to deal with the problem uh, of packing these items without them wrinkling. So here they are, you can see beautifully folded. Uh, you could leave a shirt from Ray folded like this for a year and pull it out of the bag and there would be absolutely no wrinkles uh, or no uh, pressing lines. And so uh, they do an incredible job. But let's open these up. Um, Whenever I receive anything back from Rave, the first thing I do is open it up. I take all the tissue paper out. Uh, and then for me, I always actually rehang these items on hangers because I do like to have everything hung in my closet. Uh, you know, they, of course, take the care to button all of the shirts. Uh, and actually, it's really easy to take um, the hanger on the underside of the shirt, kind of through the bottom, uh, and then put, put the garment or put the shirt on the hanger. So uh, I always rehang these really quite, quite easily. So here we go, beautifully pressed shirts. Look at these, it's almost a shame to try these on uh, just for this video because uh, they are so perfectly pressed. Um, so these are the three shirts uh, that were the balance of my delivery. Again, we have these two kind of cashmere uh, flannel shirts uh, and then this of course is the linen so let's go try these on and see how they look